All right, how's it going? So this was something that I uh, seen come up, and I thought it was a very, very interesting statement. Now, Dave Gettleman, the general manager of the New York Giants, made a statement that really caught my attention. He said that the Cleveland Browns made the Giants an offer that he could not refuse. That they could not refuse. Now, if you're unaware of the exact details of the trade, the Browns are giving up the 17th pick in the first round. Um, so they give up the first round pick, the second of the two third round picks, and Jabril Peppers, a former first round pick who was improved, who were starting to come together. So I can't help but think, is that really a unbelievable trade for the Giants standpoint, from the Giants standpoint? No. <laughs> okay, no. Um, Gettleman, this for... Bronze fans who see this, um, well, and NFL fans in general, you got to understand what this is. What this is is Dave Gettleman saying, hey, I have received a lot of blowback. I got to make this right somehow. So he goes out and defends himself by saying, hey, it was an offer, could not refuse. Now let me tell you, when John Dorsey, if he has read it, if he read that, that statement, let me tell you, he is dying laughing, okay? Because this was a very critical trade from both teams, okay? For the Giants, you're giving up your best receiver for hopefully rebuilding for the future. That was the plan. And then for the Browns, you're bringing in a surefire number one receiver, which you didn't have. You Well, you arguably had it with Jarvis Landry, but um, he wasn't able to produce like a number one receiver on a consistent basis. So for the Browns, you're bringing in a guy who is that your new number one who's played with Jarvis Landry. So there is chemistry there. Um, friend of Baker. Um, so yeah, you're bringing in the perfect guy for your new number one receiver. This is exactly who you would want. A guy who's got chemistry, um, around the same age, productive. So yeah, from the Browns, this makes a hundred percent sense from the giants. <clears throat> now you're sitting there with the sixth overall pick and 17. Now, the Giants brought in Golden Tate after the trade. And so he's signing with the Giants. And I think that that signing <clears throat> was a part of the big plan. The big plan of Gettleman saying, hey, we're going to give up our young star and bring in an older wide receiver. I don't know how that makes sense. I like I am a I'm a big Golden Tate fan. I loved what he did in Detroit. I thought he was a very 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 good receiver. Um, I'm probably more high on him than a lot of people. But common sense, you don't you don't bring in this guy to replace Odell Beckham Jr. and expect that same. Um, production okay that's just stupid so the reports were that the Giants weren't interested in Ohio State quarterback Dwayne Haskins now well and today's the pro day for Haskins this is on a Wednesday so I don't know whenever whoever watches this now I'm hearing that the Giants are interested they're doing their homework on him so I mean what should they do with the sixth overall pick? They should draft Dwayne Haskins. 
I watched a lot of Dwayne Haskins. Let me tell you, this guy can be an NFL quarterback and will be a good NFL quarterback. I'll eat my words if he's not, but I think he I think he is a guy who at Ohio State I don't think he really fit um what Urban wanted to do. I think he was kind of pushed into this JT Barrett mold and he wasn't able to really show exactly who he is and what he does. Okay, let me tell you, this guy is a guy who can be a number one pick. Okay, I know he was totally disrespected in the Heisman race, um, but he is not a bad quarterback. That's not even arguable. And there's people saying, oh, well, Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is the big name quarterback right now. And I do expect him to go number one overall. But the big production quarterback in the long run, I believe, will be Dwayne Haskins. Um, if you let him do what he does best, give him deep throws, he can make those plays. He can make any plays. Just don't don't expect him to be Kyler Murray running the ball. That's that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, Stephen A., how'd that work out? He's not a runner. You're an idiot. So... Anyway, so yeah, the Giants get Javril Peppers, who's good safety, but they they don't know what they're doing. Okay, if I was the owner of the Giant, or if I was the general manager of the Giants, I would say, okay, if I took over now, I'm drafting Dwayne Haskins. Sixth pick. 17, I'm not taking a receiver. I'm waiting till the second round, possibly seeing if I can get a high second round pick. I might have to trade for that. I'm not sure exactly where the picking second round, but there's this receiving draft is not bad. I think people, um, people are looking at it as there's no Odell... You know, that kind of guy. Um, the guy that everybody's talking about is DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf, to me, isn't 100% proven when it comes to catching the ball. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I'm worried they're going to go DK Metcalf 17, which, whatever, we'll see. But if it were me, I would take probably, uh, corner or defensive player because they have so many holes now um so yeah the giants right now if they if they ride with eli they're pretty dumb so yeah gettleman said it was an offer he couldn't refuse we'll see about that because i can tell i can tell you the cleveland browns are going to have a unstoppable offense and they're gonna have good defense too but let me tell you that offense is going to be unstoppable. The uh, the guy who could spread the ball out, make plays, looked like a veteran, throwing to a couple non-big-name guys that you would say, hey, yeah, give me those guys. I'll trade, you know, whatever. My point is he's already making guys look good who aren't that level of good. What's he gonna do with Odell Beckham Jr.? That's what that's what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, hey, Giants, you give us your number one. This is steel. I'll do this all day. You give me that all day. I don't care. And it's 17. It's if for me, it's different. If it's like number one through five, I would say, well, you know what? Positions of need. Whatever, but now you trade Odell Beckham Jr. Basically, is the Browns' first round pick this year. I mean, you know, you could count in the third round and Jabril, but really, Odell Beckham was drafted pretty much by the Browns with seventeen. That's pretty much what this trade is. That is a steal. There's nobody in the world who would say that the Giants won this trade. Now we'll obviously see what they do. Um, so yeah, 
I just wanted to make this video because that statement of this is an offer you cannot refuse is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, yeah, uh, he's just trying to cover cover um, his mistakes here in the eyes of uh, many Giants fans. So, yeah, that's all this is. Um, he's just trying to sneak his way out of this trade and he'll he'll regret it especially if they don't take Haskins and if they don't take Haskins what are they going to do they're going to have to tank and nobody wants to tank trust me now does it pay off I don't know maybe uh that Cleveland Browns office might tell you there's something to tanking when you can get this guy right there so yeah but who knows, if it were me, I'd take Haskins. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.